hello Gemini Cancer Cusp and happy birthday to those born today June 20th including myself happy birthday Megan um thank you so much for your birthday love your birthday gifts um your support through the channel means so much and to this day, it's, I keep saying this too, it, I want to say tickles my fancy when I see how many other Gemini Cancer Cusps have similar situations, stories, backgrounds as I do. So when I speak these words into you, I know I'm speaking them into myself as well, speaking them into existence. And, um... Our words have vibrations. Our attitudes, the things that we say, the way that we say it, comes out with a vibration. And there's either being a high vibe with a positive spin on things and a positive response, or you're the low vibe who is the one who's always having a snark response or making a judgy comment. For whatever reason, I'm on this right now. You're either around someone who is like that or you're recognizing that the things you say are at a higher vibe than other people or if you are in a low vibe, Gemini Cancer Cusp, I've, I, listen, it's a daily struggle. Finding the silver linings was something that I always would try to do, like in the past 10 years, like 10 years as I was on this road towards the Gemini Meg, I did mindfulness. I really got into yoga and then I really got into mindfulness and I, cause I started to become aware of how I was nasty and I was, I would make bullying comments and I was being judgy and I, I became this snob that was very, um, mean girl. And I thought I was riding high. I thought I was better. I thought I was vibing high. This is when I started getting into tarot too. And then within like a two, three year span, just a bunch of things happened in my life that humbled my ass in so many ways. And I, I describe it to people as like, I was a mean girl. I needed, at the time it was very devastating and I went through some serious depression, but I, nothing happens for a reason. So you have to look for the positives. And what are the positives here? My ass got humbled and I am a way different person now than I was then. I have way more self-worth now than I did then when I thought I was riding high. There's a reason why I'm going off on this. This wasn't part of my plan, but we go with the flow here. Um, if this is your first time here, Gemini Cancer Cusp, thanks for finding me and turning into my tuning into my TED Talk. <laughs> this is my birthday reading, so I'm just taking my time. I've been um, thinking a lot about this reading. I kind of, I really wanted to do it outside and then it just didn't work well and whatnot. So we're here. Um, I think you are going to start seeing told as love outside more and more as I begin um, going out and doing things more and more. I've become, I was describing to my mom today, I was like, I think I'm agoraphobic. She's like, scared of going out? I said, yeah, I just would rather stay home now. And this wasn't me before. 
uh, quarantine. I was like, social butterfly, where are we next? Like, this time last year? This time last year, I was already lit somewhere in the tiniest little skirt, the tiniest little top, heels on, hanging out with a group of people who I had to essentially twist their arms to go out for me even though we were hanging out all the time but when it came time to like it's Megan's birthday it was nobody put in the effort like I had to gather up troops and be like well come on can't we do something and there are a lot of red flags that I didn't that I ignored <clears throat> I just started thinking because of my yellow which I'll tell you why I'm wearing yellow in a bit um cruising through those yellow, flying through those yellow, um, yellow lights before it turns red, before you have to acknowledge that this is actually bad and a red flag, just going with the yellow, like, it was only yellow when I noticed. <laughs> you can't accuse me of anything because it was only yellow when the answer is like, you should have been stopping at yellow. Oh shit. <laughs> um, I'm wearing yellow because I saw a thing online about think practices people should do today for the solstice and one of them was wear yellow and I was uh, quite a few of them I was like oh I could do that I can do that uh, unfortunately like the first one was have sex and I'm like TMI sorry Summer solstice rituals, June 21st, so for tomorrow. Have sex, light a fire, wear yellow, or I'm wearing it today. <clears throat> Take a salt bath. I'm just thinking too, like, if you don't have a bath or whatnot, just taking, um, you could swim in the ocean and consider it a salt bath. It's all the intentions you put behind it. You put salt in some water, dip a face cloth in it, wipe it on yourself saying, I'm giving myself a salt bath. It's all in the creation of the intentions. It's not in the actual products and what you have right there. That's the materialistic view of things. That's not focusing on the intention. Wear yellow, take a salt bath, soak up the sun. I went to the beach for a little bit today, went out for a walk, do a tarot reading. Charge your crystals, I always have them in the window, so usually set time out to journal. I'm gonna consider this my journal where I put my pre-notes. Plan an outdoor event. I think I'm going to my cousin's and we'll be hanging out with him and his family outside, so we'll consider that the outdoor event. Cook for your ancestor. I'm gonna consider like um, going and doing food with my cousin and family and the meal that I've eaten with my family. That. Bring flesh, fresh flowers or produce into your home. Okay, I need to do that. So the point of me also sharing this is it's like it doesn't have to look like what you would imagine they put in like the movies like a, it's all in the intention behind it <clears throat> if you're telling me I'm also a very creative person if you tell me this represents that explain to me why why you see it that way and okay as long as long as you can prove your point or prove why you did it that way that's where i think the magic and the meaning is and and art um okay now that i've gone off on that random i've said my usual spiel so many times so i'm, I'm not gonna waste that much time on anything other than um any donations, birthday gifts are greatly appreciated and thankful at my Venmo and Cash App listed in the description box. And email me about booking a reading. I'm just in contact with someone else about booking one hopefully for tomorrow. Um, try to give me a few days in advance. I understand like us cuspers are trying to get it in on our birthdays. So the 21st might be tricky, but 
If you are a cusper on the 22nd or 23rd, I have a lot of availability those days if you'd like to schedule a birthday reading. Um, more information about readings are in my uh, video I posted a few days ago, Gemini Cancer Cusp. Happiest of birthdays to us. Alright. You are a very thoughtful person, Gemini Cancer Cusp. Meaning, um, in the littlest details, it's not materialistic wise. It's not um, flashy. It's thoughtful. You are a thoughtful person. Down to like, it's like I just said, little things. And this came to my mind because the Starbucks girl, I said I was using my um, birthday reward. And she just went, oh, happy birthday. I went, oh, thanks. I, I feel like it's important to note that I was standing there getting annoyed that I was waiting too long for this drink. I thought these girls were taking too long. They were socializing. I was like, what the effing hell? Give me my effing coffee. And then they start doing TikTok dances and shit. And I'm like, you, like, really? Like, really? And I think this is all a message for me to check myself. I should have just enjoyed watching them have so much fun at their job. Um, because when I got my drink, it said, Happy Birthday Queen, and she drew balloons all over it. And I thought, wow. It brought a smile to my face instantly. And I thought, just this li these little thoughtful details and uh, completely changed my mood. You might have that effect on people. You changed the mood. But I feel like there's also some, there's a reason why I'm explaining that. Like it checked me because um, there could be another Gemini Cancer Cusp who needs to just like check their expectations maybe a little and just live in the moment. <sighs> Take a deep breath and enjoy the presence. Present and presence. Um, <clears throat> You are also thoughtful in the sense of um, putting others first. Like, um, it could be your one day off in the past two weeks and you get an emergency. Oh my God, what are you doing tomorrow? I really need help with my kids text. And you're like, okay, because you're thoughtful and you would want that done for you and you're stepping up. Um, <clears throat> I feel like um, there's a Gemini Cancer Cusp who looks different today than they did a year ago. It could be um, it could be that you actually changed your look. Like if you used to have like thick hair and you've decided to shave your head and go bald, or like if you had a thick beard and you decided, or a goatee and you decided to just go clean shaven. Um, you're look, or thinking about what you looked like this time last year versus what you look like now and there's differences. It could even be like you were always a brunette and now you have blonde in your hair or um, it could be a weight gain thing. I know I've said a lot of things about weight recently, but it could be like a you've gained weight or you've lost weight, you look better or you to yourself, you don't look as good. I don't know, however it resonates. <clears throat> it could even be the style of clothing you wear. Like this time last year, you were wearing materialistic, flashy outfits with a TJ Maxx expensive brand name bag. And now this year you're rocking a tie dye shirt and um, spending your day with a couple of kids and their dog in the yard versus last year where you went from like an outdoor bar to another bar with friends and like there ended up being drama and you are emotional and like drinking and it's, <sighs> this feels, healthier this feels quieter I mean shit it could go down it could be uh, like financial reasons just I mean gas is twice the amount it was this time last year I don't think anybody should forget that 
So when people are like, no, nah, I'm gonna stay home. Why? Well, first of all, S my D, because you should not be pressuring anybody. I hate that. If I said no once, I often said no. Don't make, I give the eyes as I'm given right now. Don't make me have to repeat myself. I have said shit like that. <laughs> I can get into that bitch mode like, did I stutter? <laughs> I've like literally talked like that to people when I like cannot stand their responses to me. Now, I've checked that ego and that attitude and I, uh, I definitely have on softer gloves nowadays, but... I don't know where I was going with that, but it needed to come out. Like, because I definitely hear, I have been hearing the randomest ass shit and thinking the randomest ass shit the past couple hours as I was thinking about this reading and thinking about this reading and thinking about what I wanted to talk about because it's my birthday and this is my baby and like I just want to treat it with respect. This was a gift that was given to me today. It is um, Amonite, Amonite. Um, had all good positive wishes for happiness and etc. It said even like loving communication and I, I'm thinking that's interesting now that I am saying it out loud but um, it's the intention behind it wishing that upon someone where the magic lies. You could have to give someone a gift, pick up a bracelet and just give it to them and yeah it was a secret Santa I had to get you something but if you really intend when people say, wear this in good health, use this in good health, if they really truly mean it, that's like magic and a prayer and positive energy and high vibing. That's how powerful our words are. <sighs> so if you have someone around you or there's been people around you making little comments, giving you little looks, I think you have either discerned it, maybe I've helped you notice it. I think you are noticing it, and every time you notice it, Gemini Cancer Cusp, just know it's because you're vibing higher than that person. That is confirmation to you every dig. It's because, oh, I'm, uh, I'm doing good, I'm on the right path. Because the shit doesn't get easier as you get higher vibing. Shit does not get easier. It just gets weirder. I'm going to tell you that. Um, <clears throat> speaking of weirder, you are the black sheep, Gemini Cancer Cusp, or you at least feel that way. You could have been raised in a family where there was a lot of arguing at home and somehow you're the only one who's come out with a great sense of humor and all these friends where you're like the people around you or the people, the people, the siblings you grew up with seem to have issues. Um, or your sibling seems to have issues. It's like, I was gonna say ge breaking generational curses, like you have like, it could even be someone who, um, Fifty years ago, like you wouldn't be as out and rambunctious and open with who you are as you are now. And that's part of like the like you don't conform to what the family is like. You're the different one. I remember um, working. I worked in the same building with my father for a while. So there were people who knew the two of us. And I remember being asked by one once how did my like my father end up with such a wild child of a daughter because he and my parent he and my mother are not like me they are not my mother has no interest in tarot like if i she just doesn't she doesn't care to want to learn and I'm just very different than her in that respect. And that's okay. So.
someone here is the black sheep. Either you're like the gay aunt or you're the single uncle who's raising his kids by himself or um, something like that. Um, things that really bummed you out don't anymore. I think that's another thing besides a changed look. I'm realizing you could have also a changed outlook from a year ago because things that would have bothered you a year ago, you are at peace with. I specifically heard. I'm getting it, it's like invitations to things, like more specifically, you are much more at peace. I feel like with a smaller circle or focusing much more on your family, like that is, um, I'm hearing where your chips lie or where you wanna be, like just focusing your attention is just on your family. You keep getting reminded of someone I feel like this could be through music um, or like uh, you're driving and you see their name on the street and you're reminded of them or someone you work with has the same last name as, that, as them and um, you keep getting reminded of this person and I feel like you are at a point where it's like, what the fuck? I really don't want to think about this anymore. Like this, this person, this, this situation, it just makes me kind of upset and brings me down. So I want like, why am I thinking about this? And I feel like there's someone who's actually really questioning if this other person is thinking about them too. Because I feel like there's like no communication currently. Um, it could be just like you, someone's out of town and they can't talk to you right now, but I um, I think there's there's something to like maybe not speaking and you keep getting reminded of this person and you're wondering, like I wonder if they're thinking about me too and I feel like I'm supposed to say that they are. Like this is your confirmation that they are. Just as often as you're reminded of them, they're reminded of you. Like let's say there's like a popular song from it was like a, maybe someone's name is Jolene and there's the Dolly Parton song. It's just an older song, Jolene. But every time, like someone randomly keeps hearing this effing song. And it's like, what the hell? I keep hearing Jolene. Like how many Jolene's could there be? And so that's Jolene. And Jolene keeps hearing on the, um, all right, we got to think of a male. Jolene just started working with a guy named, um, I don't even know. Jolene started working with someone whose last name was like Smith and that reminds her of how her and her boyfriend used to listen to the Smiths. And then all of a sudden she seems to be having to be hearing more Smith songs and Jolene's like what the fuck <laughs> it's something like that I hope that <laughs> I hope that worked out like you start watching a show and the main character's name is Jolene and you're like mother of God what are the odds why am I being reminded of this person I think they're thinking about you too. I think they keep getting reminded of you. Like even like someone was just watching the, someone's name is Steph, Stephanie. And every time this person hears Steph Curry, they think of you. They don't think of Steph Curry. <laughs> and it's like, it's almost like, is it a burden? Is it a sign from God? Is it karma that you guys are meant to like kept be intertwined? I don't know. The last thing I have to say 
And this was the weird ass thing that popped in my head and I'm like, I'm gonna write it down. Someone attracts sluts. Now, if this is a female, you attract fuck boys who want very casual, no strings attached. They just want to bang and a bang. And females who just want to have some fun. If this is a male, it speaks for itself. <laughs> but it's it's like someone, um, it was so weird. I was thinking about, it's like a sexual energy. Someone has, has and exudes this sexual energy that attracts sluts. It could be you, Gemini Cancer Cusp, or it could be who you're dealing with. If it's you, Gemini Cancer Cusp, it's like you're wondering why do you keep attracting this? This is tying into what I was saying about a Gemini Cancer Cusp who is changing their outlook, changing their look, maybe where you used to worry about <sighs> certain clothes and how they fit or how things looked, you just don't care about that anymore. You're more concerned with or should be more concerned with enjoying life and in the present and you're not wanting to attract this type of sexual attention because someone attracts sluts. <laughs> If this is the person you're, date, you're dating and like with, I mean, maybe this is an open relationship. They attract people who just want to have sex. But I also have to say there could, there is an energy here of like, there could be someone who attracts sluts. Doesn't mean they're doing anything. Could be just that they have that antenna. Like I also, I got that vibe of like someone who is like super friendly maybe they're flirty friendly but they're really really good looking and then before you know it they got someone offering or trying to hit them up and it's like oh no that, that was not what I, no 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 we are friends like keeping it like that acting almost like oh but it's because they attract this type of energy Maybe they like that type of energy. All right. It is 20. It was like the same time last time. 28 minutes in. Where did I put my pen? 28 on the dot. I just saw. All right. Here we go. With the cards. Don't forget to email me to book a reading. If you've been thinking about it. I'm, I'm cool. I'm fun to talk to. <laughs> um, family is very important to someone right now. Like, even if you don't have any kids, it's like your, your brother's kids are very important to you. Or if, like, your kids are out of the house, it's like your your sibling your sibling or cousin's kids are very important to you you've become like the cool auntie or uncle even if you're not their actual aunt or uncle do it baby i also thought i saw do it birthday go for it well these are all positive being used Are you playing me? Eternal bachelor. How could you do that? Take a stronger, more dominant and decisive approach. And I feel like I just saw this in one the other day. Only friends don't earth sign he she they the streets can have you 
I'm all set. Someone has an insatiable sexual drive and desire. That is like the first thing that I am thinking. If you have had sex with them, or you're thinking about having sex with this person because you haven't already, it would be strictly just sexual. It would only be for sexual reasons. It would be hot, crazy, red light special sex if that's the type that you have. But this person will only ever see you as a friend. Or you will only ever see this person as a friend. You may start, have started to date. Or maybe this is the relationship you want. It's like more of a partnership. More of a friend. <clears throat> Eternal bachelor is in parentheses because I feel like, um, haven't I already said the 4th of July? Because the, the colors are red, white, and blue over here. And everything right here is black. So 4th of July again. Maybe you're dealing with a cancer or something's going to happen during cancer season because that's where the 4th of July falls. Dude, this motherfucker, we have dealt with this person. This is why I gotta take a break from these readings because Gemini Cancer Cuss, this is the same fucking message. Excuse my language. It's more like me getting annoyed that like, I know who this is about for me. If they're watching, they should know it is about them for me. And like, me needing to get it through my thick skull that I'm only ever going to be being used. I feel like, um, all right, you and this, you and this person, one of you are, was very supportive of the other, like very supportive, poured your motherfucking cup into this person, um, built them up, do it. You can do it. Go for it. Maybe they had a dream. Maybe, maybe they had a, um, they didn't think they were good enough at something or, um, I'm hearing like an ugly duckling. Like they didn't realize how like good looking they were. Maybe this was you, Gemini Cancer Cusp. And I feel like you poured into them and poured into them and poured into them and you were going thirsty because you were pouring into them from your own emotions and cups and they were just like gob gobbling it up. I'm seeing like a siphon. They were just siphoning up your love and they were using you. You were being used. I'm also getting this false tense of they were using you while falsely encouraging you for whatever it was you were you were trying to go for like you should do it go for it and they were really like oh, i don't even know so this is making me think of this is pretty fucking weird but i'm just gonna go with it i dated someone once who um, had his, has his doctorate and he was going through a divorce while we were dating. Don't ever do that. Um, and he believed that his ex encouraged him to go for his doctorate just because she knew she was going to divorce him and would be able to like get more money out of him or he'd be worth more something like that so he really he believed that she encouraged him to advance himself only for her benefit in the long run because she knew she was using him and was going to end up leaving isn't that fucked up 
then again, let's take Megan's advice when I say there's three sides to every story. His side, the other person's side, the actual truth. I feel like this is someone here who has dicked you around or you have dicked them around and you haven't been do as dominant and decisive as you could be. If you say you are done with this person and you're cutting them off and you're blocking them, you need to fucking stick to that. And if, you, if and when you see them at the supermarket or wherever, you need to stick to that. You can't be sending mixed signals to the universe. If you say you want this person in your life, that you feel strongly about this connection, then you shouldn't be playing coy motherfucking games. You shouldn't be playing any sort of, um, you shouldn't be doing anything that would make them question their position in your life. That would be taking the stronger, more dominant and decisive approach to what, how you want to go about this with this person. This is the same person that you are like, who's that? What's going on here? Like, are you really, are you talking to other people? I'm seeing, again, more sex in the city just came to my mind. Someone must like sex in the city. But it's the scene where the girls are all walking by a restaurant and they see Big in the restaurant with um, a woman and Carrie's like, or oh, they're leaving the restaurant. And Carrie stops and she goes over to the, uh, to the two of them and is like, what's going on here? And leaves and is like, I can't believe it. Big is seeing other people. This is someone who has played you or is, is playing you and says that they are an eternal bachelor or if and when you try to confront them on like, who's that? Like, are you playing me? They're like, we're just friends. We're only friends. I'm a bachelor. Um, you weren't a bachelor last night when you were telling me to Anya. I hope that made sense to someone because it makes, certainly makes sense to me. Ooh, I see someone with strong emotions. Like if you have Leo in your chart and you have anger issues, you should go check out that video. But it's like when you feel very strongly Gemini Cancer Cusp about someone and especially if you have poured yourself into them if you find or feel that you are being used, you go off the fucking Richter. You go crazy. Crazy screaming. Crazy. You're a piece of shit. Like making a scene crazy. To the point that someone's like, how could you do that? Like... I saw something so funny yesterday. It was a meme that was like a girl had taken a marker all over the guy's car and put like, you're a liar, like all over it, smiley faces, cheater. And then she wrote on the hood, like with the marker, like I'm where I could have keyed your car, but I'm working on myself. <laughs> like if that's not a Gemini cancer, maybe not Gemini cancer, but I feel like that's a Gemini, like why? I didn't scratch anything, but you wrote all over it. Yeah, so? I didn't scratch anything. That's gaslighting, and that's what this person does. That's what this person does. I've talked about this person before. More than enough. This is the person who... This could be your partner, Gemini Cancer Cusp. You are out with them. You're sitting, having drinks. It's fabulous. You feel fabulous. You look fabulous. 
People have told you how cute you guys look together. You've already taken the selfie and posted it. <clears throat> Whatever. And then you notice someone giving your person eyes. And your person has now chummed up. Maybe, maybe someone gets really flirty when they're drinking. You're, someone's chumming up the, the people next to you. Now you got someone else coming over here asking if you want to join their table. And it's like, uh, <laughs> someone is like, what is going on here? Juggling, being juggled. <laughs> I just heard being juggled with the promise of happily ever after. I also heard struggling to get to happily ever after. Maybe you're, fi you're struggling with finances right now, Gemini Cancer Cusp. Um, you may be looking for a second income or um, you're being encouraged to find a second income or you have a second income that you're putting a lot of focus on. <clears throat> Pentacles. 24 could be someone's favorite number or age. Four again. Could be dealing with an Aries. I feel like uh, like there's someone who knows this is your birthday or it's around your birthday and if they haven't wished you a happy birthday, maybe that's why they're thinking about you and you're thinking about them because they're thinking about wishing you a happy birthday. This person is thinking about it, has thought about it, and I feel like they haven't reached out Um. I feel like if this person hasn't reached out and I saw the death card right here, it's like someone who knows they may have hurt you in the past and um, I feel like they junk, they juggled you and they knew and they know that they really hurt you. There's also this feeling, I, I want to hear like, I don't want to give the wrong idea it's like someone here knows that um how much you care about them or like um this is bizarre
here and like this person doesn't want to give you the wrong idea that they're trying to give like a love offer this is the person that I'm saying is only friends this is why it's it's hard this is someone who has already juggled you in the past you may not have even dated this person if it's a if it's a um, masculine it's like um <clears throat> if this is a really good masculine friend it's like someone who's told you they never want to get married they're an eternal bachelor so um it's almost like this person's desire to be an eternal bachelor is the third party here that is keeping two people from working on things and being together which makes no sense as i say it aloud i feel like there's someone who's i just heard afraid of losing their identity if they like were to work on their wounds and things that they've been carrying around i feel like there is someone here who has like a tough exterior female or male someone who has a tough exterior and they like their like tough boss exterior i feel like this is an emperor who doesn't want to do work uh like mental health work would not want to put in the work that it would take to make him or her a page of pentacles someone wanting to begin looking towards stability and uh, something long-lasting I feel like there's someone here with like deep friend memories deep deep appreciation for the friendship for the companionship for the support but i'm hearing like just like what you want is an emperor and they can only ever give you page of pentacles level You know, I I hear this person, I hear this person, I hear the story. The third party is that this person does not want to have a relationship or where they have to work on things and keep things happy at home. They want to be out on their own doing what they want. Okay, I hear that. I also know of stories of people who've said I don't ever want to get married I'm never gonna get married they're in long relationships seven eight nine years they have a house together with this person or maybe the house is in their name but they live with this person and have been living together for years but I'm not getting married I don't want to get married I'm not I'm not getting married and then something happens, they meet someone, something, I'm hearing like something could happen in their life that stirs them to then want this, but it's like out of the blue, all of a sudden, this person is settled down with a family or the, the female who said she'd be She'd never be a mother and she's traveling the world and all of a sudden pops up with a whole ass family and a stepchild and a dog. Like, you know what I mean? Like this guy who said he'd never get married, all of a sudden met someone and within two years is married to that person. I feel like there's an energy like this here. Someone is staying super um, 
I think they're telling people they're communicating. That's what the co the uh, quotes to. Someone has communicated or said like, I do not want to get married. I do not want to be in a, I want to be a single. Because Bachelor is single. Someone likes their sluts? Like, I don't know. Someone is so sad. The tower reversed. Um, this is Scorpio Aries energy. I'm like, someone is just so sad that like things are the way that they are. It's like you, someone really knows temperance reversed. Um, Sagittarius energy. I'm just hearing like someone really knows how beautiful and thing and great this could be if these two people like could actually make it work or someone feel maybe you both feel that way but the third party the the third the third thing in this that's affecting the connection is someone's desire to be single they don't want to give a cup of love to anybody gemini cancer cusp if you are a cancer, this is reminding me of the person that I was speaking of in the cancer reading that was like, to this person, fighting and fucking are love. This person doesn't want to f care about someone. That's, it's like so, they don't want to care because maybe they've cared in the past or cared too much and like they had their heart and world broken. Nine of Cups. Knight of Swords. I feel like this person knows what you wanna hear from them. Oh, fuck yeah, they know. You may communicate with this person regularly. This is back to what I was saying, like, um, like a friend, or like only friend, only friends, like question mark. I don't know, I think that that nine of cups looks pretty damn confident and comfortable on their own right there. I think this is someone also who is confidently and quietly waiting and that Knight of Swords has to come in. This is also um, telling someone or telling people you're really good, you're in a really good place in life, you're feeling great. I think you could be here and that person could be going through the Temperance and Tower reverse. Justice reverse, it's Libra energy. Four of cups. I want to say someone is really good, really good at being single and independent and love having little fake relationships. It's not a real relationship. It's not a real love offer. This is the person that you're going to be like, wait, but we talk all the time and we've been, you know, whatever would put you in a world of confusion. This person's like, what do you mean? We're, not, we're only friends. I'm only, uh, I'm a bachelor. They, 
they love having this um I want to say they love having a relationship without the responsibility of a relationship I don't know how that works I feel like you are giving something to them providing something for them that if you were to ask for something like the same sort of energy in return they would not receive they would not give it you may have communicated to this person i'm good fine and well the fool this person might play a lot of video games or you met them over like xbox or you used to play with xbox with them I get this feeling too of like someone feeling um, incompatible with what they could offer. Like I'm hearing like your strong love is like what you what one has to offer and the other has. Um, I'm hearing more accolades more um maybe sources of income someone is either super afraid of being viewed as a fool or this is the person who's asking are you playing me because they feel like a fool This person knows what you want, Gemini Cancer Cusp. They know what you want from them. They know that you hold a special place in your heart for them. You know, they know that no matter how many times you may say, F off, leave me alone, that they can always come back with even the little, littlest bit of an apology and you'll accept them back. I feel like this person values you and your friendship and your love, but I just, I know this person knows what you want and they're just not going to give it to you. You want their relationship, you want their love, you want their partnership, you want something stable and they just aren't gonna do it this uh king of pentacles is very stubborn in reverse very stubborn and i'm hearing like this is our manipulative person as long as he gets what he wants even if it's just the conversation and the um emotion poured into him like this is someone or a situation that you are like about to walk away from or you know like this is a waste of time I need to walk away from this this person is taking up space in my life and I'm pouring into his or her cups and they're not pouring into mine and I need to go find my ten of cups I think you may you maybe you've already let this person go and you are at a nine of cups position i also think like if you were to let this person go they will not make it easy for you they will keep coming back or maybe you've tried to let them go and they keep reappearing someone needs to be really firm and stern with their comp with their communication own Take the dominant, what did it say? Take a stronger, more dominant and decisive approach. Someone needs to turn off their emotions 
and um, show this person how they you will or will not be treated because if at the end of the day you do want some sort of relationship with this person you cannot have a relationship with them with you being treated the way that you're currently being treated you know that they know that they know that if you were to be together you would expect more and there would be expectations and standards set I feel like this you may have dated this person already they know where you have standards they know you're not one of the sluts that they're attracting there is a powerful singular and independent person here who doesn't want to put up with this bullshit so if you don't want to Gemini Cancer Cusp you have to walk walk what uh, talk the walk the walk talk the talk like walk what you're talking like if you say you're done with this person you have to cut them off what will happen when you cut them off they're gonna come charging in I feel like you know that'll happen though. At the end of the day, you have to also think, if you've known this person for a while and you've been in each other's lives, they had every opportunity to give you that pentacle a while ago. Why did they make you wait? Knight of Swords reversed. I think that is someone trying to reach out to you and this is like, this is, this is the person who's not giving you what you want and you're being told again you need to cut off the communication. This is the person that like is leaving you in the Nine of Cups singular on your own when they know you want the Ten of Cups. This, I just think me you might want just two different things you're not you're not a match the king of cups and then the queen of pentacles that queen wants a uh, a baby that's what she's holding up that king wants to party he's been partying he's got to pour out the drinks from his last night someone who wants to be more stable and at home and creating a family or creating a um, a warm life and another person who isn't ready to give up the sluts and the partying. And I don't think there's anything wrong with what either one of you want. As my friend would say, as long as the expectations are clear. There's nothing wrong with what either one of you want as long as nobody is lying in order to get what they want out of the other person because if they were to be honest they know that they wouldn't get what they wanted that's manipulative and shitty like not playing a person for a fool if you know you have the power to play them for a fool Six of Wands, Six of Swords reversed, the Chariot. I see moving on. I see talking to new people. Yeah, I feel like you are, um, keep hearing like taking a break from this person you know I was thinking about the star card earlier and she's here right now he or she I just want to say there's um, 
there's a lot of powerful cards here that only have a singular individual on them. It doesn't have um, two. And this card of healing shows one person alone, bare naked, clearing and cleaning themselves of the dirt and the sins and their faults and forgiving themselves. I feel like you're um, you're going to put in ends to any situation where you feel like you are one of many or you feel like you're in competition. Like this person may have made you feel like you're in competition for them. Five of Cups. the king of pentacles up right now and this is the high priestess so this is who i think we have at the end he is still stubbornly staying single holding on to his stability by himself but i think you there's someone who wisens up and realizes the power that they have on their own No, it's like you break the tie to this King of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be an earth sign either, though. You break this tie to this King of Pentacles and um, I almost wanted to I almost want to say like these issues start to go away. You open up more space in your life for other people or other better situations to come in. But I mean, you might not even realize right now how much space this person is taking up in your life. Or this is someone who you realize, like, I didn't realize how much energy I was giving to this person. <clears throat> There's one last message I have for a Gemini Cancer Cusp, and I was thinking about this earlier, and I forgot to say it but it just came back to me so as I looked at this high priestess I feel like there's a very strong emo uh, strong um, Gemini cancer cusp the things that you say and think are more powerful than you imagine especially around this time so be very mindful of what you are thinking and saying if you are thinking and saying aloud, fuck that person, I hope they freaking eat shit and get run over by a car or whatever direction that negativity is going, you'd be shocked to shit to see what could happen. Same being said, send out that positive energy if you see someone around you, like, I, this is very hard, but like, let's say you have someone in your life who is like, driving you up the fucking wall there, like, <sighs> someone in your life that you want to get away from, or um, you just, you, you take space from them, you have to pray for that person. Wish them well with positive vibes. Say a prayer. Send that positivity towards them because you never know what positive things could come from just saying prayers and um, positive thoughts for another person. I'm telling you, that our thoughts and um, words are, are much more powerful then we are told I'm not going down this rabbit hole but there's a whole world out there of um, the significance and the power behind the words that are in our languages 
So, Gemini Cancer costs Besmara um, an hour and nine minutes. Let me know if you want to book a reading. Uh, my Venmo and Cash App is listed in the description for any donations or gifts, and I really appreciate it. Um, stay tuned for the next Gemini Cancer Cost reading. If this doesn't resonate, check out the Gemini readings, check out the Cancer readings. Don't forget to check out the other signs in your chart. If you want some help with that, I can definitely help you, but it could be worth listening to your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign at least to see if there's more messages out there for you, or at least if it resonates. That's what I want to know. If like you're a Cancer sun, but you have an Aquarius moon and the Aquarius reading resonates, that's trippy as hell to me. So. Thank you very much for your happy birthdays. I love you very much, Gemini Cancer Cusp, and thank you so much for all your support. I will see you on the solstice.